Morning everyone. Today is going to be an absolute beautiful day. We have uh, about 17 laws to do and it's supposed to be 60 degrees today. So it's just going to be a great day for working. So let's get everything loaded up and let's get started. First yard done and I didn't get no video out there because we were blowing and cleaning up there but no gloves today. It is so nice to work without gloves. It's actually kind of warm walking around with the sweatshirt on. Yeah, so I gotta believe the sweatshirts will be off today. It's gonna be so nice. Market might have to put his shorts on this afternoon. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be close. We'll see. I'm not ready to put shorts on yet. <laughs> she, don't, she don't wear shorts till about 90. But I get wore, uh, heated up a lot faster than she does. So We're gonna go do a small commercial uh, on right now and I think I'll get a video there.
that's official. That's nice out. Short sleeves. Let's finish the yard uh, after the commercial yard. And we were able to take sweatshirts off and uh, enjoy the nice weather. Now we're going to get away from where we're at and go to the next yard, which is kind of out of the way. And I am going to change a deck belt. That would be that short deck belt, uh, secondary deck belt, because that thing's just a squealing. I'm thinking that's it. And then when I get all the belts loosened up there, I'm also going to check all the idler pulleys, make sure they're not worn out. And if they're worn out, I'll get one. Or if it's questionable, I'll get one ordered here. But I think it's just the belt. So, because I uh, believe the secondary belt is the original belt. It's got $700 on it. So um, that belt is uh, way past its lifetime because they usually last about 500 hours. So anyhow, we're going to head off to the next yard here. So this is my new belt. 483240 is the belt number. And what it is replacing is this one. First I have to take this belt off for the blower. And I have to take this belt off for the main deck to get this belt off. So it's kind of a process, but uh, I'm just going to have to replace it. So this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Just because if I take this off too much, go too far with it. It'll drop off in the back and then I'm crawling underneath the stupid thing. Yeah, there's no good way of doing this one. This belt is glazed pretty good. It's real shiny, so it has been slipping. And I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm gonna try and show you this. So there isn't much of a difference between the sizes, but there's just enough where it's slipping. Probably what eighth of inch at the most. Sixteenth of an inch. Shredded on the side. No, and it's it looks good, but it's not good. I'm gonna save it for spare. Yep, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save that for a spare. Cause that will get you through the day. If anything else. four so the belt falls off the back there we go Yeah, there's a big difference in these belts. Really big difference. The size of these belts. Okay, so now, before we get started, I'm going to see if that made any difference. When I start it up, it should squeal. And 
that took care of it. It's just got that little initial squeal when you first start it, and that's it. But it's not squealing like it was, so that was the belt. Another yard done after changing that belt, and that's why I like to have extra belts, because I can change it right on the trailer. I could have probably had a little more room on, uh, on when it was off the trailer, but I just like doing things on a trail. Just in case I drop something, I can always find it. So I think Vicky was right. I think I will be wearing short pants today because uh, I'm getting pretty warmed up, which is absolutely nice right 63. now. 63. Yeah, 63 degrees. It's the second day in the 60s in like 204 days or 205, something like that. I'll have to double check. But uh, it's been quite a while. So I'm enjoying today tremendously. Okay, we're going through our yards pretty quick here, and uh, I know I changed the primary belt this morning, but uh, or I mean the secondary belt this morning, but the primary belt's going now. So um, that's supposed to be in uh, the parts store. It's supposed to have it for me tomorrow. So hopefully this belt will make it through um, the rest of today and tomorrow. If not, I do have another spare. Um, it's an older belt, but it's uh, kind of shredded up a little bit, but. It will make it through, but this belt is uh, really slipping now too. So, Yank Skag Hat. Yank Skag Hat, what? yeah. That'd be belt number six. So this one hasn't broken in half like the other ones have, but this one is slipping pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Nothing I do about it. So right now, I'm running without sleeves, but I have to keep putting uh, my sweatshirt back on because of the dust and everything, because these yards went from soaking wet to completely dust. So. Same thing happened last year. Yeah, and it happens every year out for us at this time. And then probably, if we don't get any rain here in the next week or two, uh, we're going to go into the fire, uh, extreme fire danger. But uh, I think there's rain supposed to be hitting us tomorrow. It's a slight chance of 40% or 30%, something like that. But um, we'll take what we can get, and we'll just deal with what we got. So on to the next ones. So we just finished our last lawn, which is a good thing because... I tumbled in the ditch. I just got done blowing the ditch out with all the slimy leaves and everything else in there. And uh, Miss Fiddlesticks here is going in there with the rake and steps through the slippery stuff that I just got done blowing out. So um, she assumed the ground level in about, oh, half a second when she hit. Glasses went flying one way, knees all full of mud. Head hit the... It's a good thing there's a bank there and it yeah. was squishy. Yeah, it was. And a good thing there wasn't no rocks there because yeah. I could have probably got knocked out or something. I don't know. <laughs> so she picks herself up and then we had to look for the lens for her glasses because she lost them. It was a good thing because at lunch I decided to put my old glasses on. So yep. I'm glad I did that because my new glasses would have been busted to heck. Yep. Oh, and then well. also being this last yard and we've been working all day that uh, Tiger Cat, the battery is dead. So I just jump started it with that nice little jump box I got, which I'm so glad I bought that thing. It was the best $100 I ever spent. And then the belt being bad. And then the belt being bad. and We've been eating dust on this one pretty good, so hence I got the sweatshirt back on. But uh, it's uh, we're supposed to get a little bit of rain. I don't know. It's early morning, I think, tomorrow. So that'll cut down on the dust for us the rest of the week, which would be great. But we also need the rain to keep everything growing, and the grass is growing some areas about an inch a day right now and other areas like this area that we're in right now it's not growing at all 
because we should have a yard across the street that we're supposed to be cutting. We uh, did a clean up on it two weeks ago and it has not grown at all. So I uh, don't have to worry about that one. And are you sure we're done? I don't see any more. I don't see any more. And I don't one. think I remember, or I, I know I don't remember mentioning if the um, belt tensioner was good or bad on that Tiger Cat when I was changing the belt. And it is good because I spun it around, there's nothing loose on it there. So. Um, that's all good. We just got to change the belt, which I'll probably do that tonight. Put that other belt on there that's chewed up, but it doesn't slip until I uh, get another belt tomorrow afternoon sometime or Thursday. So uh, that's going to be the end of our video today. So I thank you for watching and subscribing. You can check out the links in the description box below. We greatly appreciate it. Have a good evening. See you at the next year. Tomorrow's going to be better. No slipping in the ditches, I hope. Goodbye. Are you done now? Yeah. She's done now. <laughs>